for lit reflection for Thursday, February 18th, the Thursday after Ash Wednesday. Lent is a season of fresh starts and new beginnings, and it offers us a finite period for self-examination and repentance. We take the opportunity over the next six weeks to deepen our commitment to our baptismal life and to renew our discipleship to Christ. Often we give up things that we enjoy and take on spiritual disciplines, like additional Bible readings, additional prayer and doing extra things for others. We can also fast from attitudes that don't serve us, like pettiness, gossip, envy, resentment, procrastination, judgment, among others. We need to ensure that our purpose for fasting from anything is to deepen our relationship with God. If it's just a physical exercise with no spiritual motive, it can be like New Year's a New Year's resolution. During Lent a few years ago, Daughters of the King made and, and distributed small cards in the courtyard with feast from fear, faith, excuse me, fast from fear, feast on faith, which I keep on my refrigerator. When we truly feast on faith and totally trust God with our lives, our fears are vanquished and we can live with confidence and joy. Lent offers us a time to purify ourselves from sin and selfishness. Yet we know our efforts alone do not save us. Christ has already done that and is working his purpose through us despite our weaknesses and failures. Whatever we give up or take on, by Easter, we will be ready to eagerly celebrate. Our souls will be awakened and we will joyfully await the feast. Failures, which are part of our stories, whose burden we bear, and by whose grace we have grown. I give thanks to you, Lord, for these moments, these graces that touched down in my life along the way to save me. Blessings.